first of all, can we discuss your environment? You are in your, your new show kitchen. Uh, it is so beautiful. It's so vibrant and alive. It looks like it has a personality of its own. And yet it seems to reflect who I imagine you to be. We're just getting to know each other uh, in real life. But I feel that this is an extension of who I imagine Drew Barrymore to be. How involved in the process of your new home were you? Insanely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to be a producer and I do love to share. I've talked to people every day of my life since I was seven years old. So I'm just a people person and a communicator and a sharer by nature, by condition, but in my heart. And so it's like, I'm just like, if I don't get this out and do, I'll go insane. And I love that that's also the entrance, you know, the promos for the show, you interviewing yourself as a, as a girl, so brilliant. And, and it, it really expresses that, that this is just who you are by nature, that that was always your little fire. Have you been gathering with, with friends and, and family near and far and like using Zoom or FaceTime or whatever you use? We had to basically launch the show um, in some ways on Zoom. Um, some of which I found to be the most efficient work I've ever gotten to do in my life. And some of which brought challenges that we could have just never anticipated. But I documented all of it and I made a documentary. It's called The Making Of, and you can see it on our YouTube channel. It's a four part series. The third one came out today. The fourth one comes out on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see my friends on Zoom because I was so sick of Zoom by the end of the day. I couldn't bear to try to socialize on it. Right, right, right. <laughs> but so I felt very isolated and very alone. And I was doing the homeschool by myself and trying to launch the show and, you know, take care of the kids. And, and, you know, I just, but the thing was, is I felt so in it with everyone that I never felt lonely. I never felt alone. And right now I'm looking for our commonality. We spent a lot of the year focusing on what's broken, what divides us. And in the fourth quarter of this game of life in 2020, as we enter it, I feel like everybody's in position and I hope that we can reimagine, we can come together. It's, game on. This is the moment, game on. Is there um, a general format that you have in mind or topics that you really wanna get into? Or is every day just going to be so different? I wanna fold everything into it. Like when we were making Charlie's Angels, um, we would meet with all these filmmakers and they would be like, it's very dark. And I'd be like, no, no, it's so not dark. Um, <laughs> or they would be like, you know, it's a sticky comedy. Like, you know, we really go for it. And like the girls have like feathered hair and we were just making fun of the genre. And I was like, no, 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 it's not that. Um, and really when I found the director, McGee, which by the way, they were like, these producers, you and Nan, who showed up in backpacks and corduroys with like a scholastic like presentation convincing us that you could make our $100 million movie. You now want to bring on a first time director who has only done music videos. And I was like, you know what? He's the only one that gets this weird tone we want to make. I thought I want it to be colorful. I want these girls to be like, talking about the date while they're fighting because that's what girls do like we can't right. girls cannot compartmentalize like it's sh no. and you circle, know not in lines and we can hear five things and say five things at the same time exactly and i wanted it to be a comedy but not you know, a very certain tone of comedy. I wanted the girls that like when time came that they knew what they were doing. Right. And I wanted to support and celebrate female friendship. And I, I hope that that's the tone that you're going for in the show because that, that's where it's at. Now. It is, and that's why I'm glad that I'm really christening the beginning process with you because if it wasn't for you allowing me to shoot basically the audition tape for the show on your set. I may not be here. I so, so geeked out that you were in the studio. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs>